Tonight on the Entertainment Report, a local chef wins gold medal honors for his cooking in an international contest. But first, here's today's trivia question. What did Whitney Houston do for a living before she became a singing star? Earlier this month, Philip Hunt, who's the head chef at the Green Street Cafe, participated in the World Culinary Arts Festival in Vancouver as part of Team Calgary. This was the state-trained chef's first time cooking in an international contest, and to his surprise, he won a gold medal in the individual plates category. I used mostly Alberta ingredients, and we went to uh, try to get a little bit more modern, straight away a little bit from the classical, and uh, got into some modern presentations and modern techniques. In his kitchen at work, Philip recreated three of the six dishes that won him the prize. These are the uh, lamb chops with sherry wine sauce, basil flavored crepes and spinach. This is the breast of partridge coronation. It's been stuffed with a morel that has been uh, filled with more mousse of the partridge and seasoned. Uh, and the salmon is filet of salmon Prince Rupert and it's filled with a seafood mousse, crab and shrimp saffron sauce. So what makes Canadian cuisine unique? The Canadian cuisine, it's uh, because Canada is made up of so many different types of people, uh, the ethnic and the regional uh, influences are very strong, but we place our em emphasis on uh, the ingredients that are available here. Uh, the, the squid and the fiddleheads from the East Coast, uh, the sockeye salmon from the West Coast, the Alberta veal and lamb, as we already talked about, and uh, the wild rice of Manitoba, it means we can use the influences of these ethnics and uh, incorporate our ingredients, which makes us a little different. Team Calgary picked up 10 medals overall, six individual gold, three individual silver, and a team gold. Definitely good news for Calgary fans of fine food. Here are the top grossing movies this week in Calgary theaters. In fifth place, the re-release of Walt Disney's classic Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, zooms in at number 4. Full Metal Jacket, Stanley Kubrick's first in a few years, is in third place. Two is the action thriller, Robocop. And the most seen new movie in town this week is the story of the late pop star Richie Valens, La Bamba. Great music on that one. In trivia today, the question was, what did Whitney Houston do for a living before she became a singing star? The answer is, she was a fashion model. Whitney's single, I Wanna Dance, is number one again this week in Calgary.